in statistics, logistic regression, or logit regression, or logit model is a regression model where the dependent variable is categorical. This article covers the case of binary dependent variables, that is, where it can take only two values, such as pass, fail, win, lose, alive, dead or healthy, diseased. Cases with more than two categories are referred to as multinomial logistic regression, or, if the multiple categories are ordered, as ordinal logistic regression. Logistic regression was developed by statistician David Cox in 1958. The binary logistic model is used to estimate the probability of a binary response based on one or more predictor variables. As such it is not a classification method. It could be called a qualitative response, discrete choice model in the terminology of economics. Logistic regression measures the relationship between the categorical dependent variable and one or more independent variables by estimating probabilities using a logistic function, which is the cumulative logistic distribution. Thus, it treats the same set of problems as probit regression using similar techniques, with the latter using a cumulative normal distribution curve instead. Equivalently, in the latent variable interpretations of these two methods, the first assumes a standard logistic distribution of errors and the second a standard normal distribution of errors. Logistic regression can be seen as a special case of generalized linear model and thus analogous to linear regression. The model of logistic regression, however, is based on quite different assumptions from those of linear regression. In particular the key differences of these two models can be seen in the following two features of logistic regression. First, the conditional distribution is a Bernoulli distribution rather than a Gaussian distribution, because the dependent variable is binary. Second, the predicted values are probabilities and are therefore restricted to through the logistic distribution function because logistic regression predicts the probability of particular outcomes. Logistic regression is an alternative to Fisher's 1936 method, linear discriminant analysis. If the assumptions of linear discriminant analysis hold, application of Bayes' rule to reverse the conditioning results in the logistic model. So if linear discriminant assumptions are true, logistic regression assumptions must hold. The converse is not true. So the logistic model has fewer assumptions than discriminant analysis and makes no assumption on the distribution of the independent variables, fields and example applications. Logistic regression is used widely in many fields, including the medical and social sciences. For example, the trauma and injury severity score, which is widely used to predict mortality in injured patients, was originally developed by Boyd et al. using logistic regression. Many other medical scales used to assess severity of a patient have been developed using logistic regression. Logistic regression may be used to predict whether a patient has a given disease based on observed characteristics of the patient. Another example might be to predict whether an American voter will vote Democratic or Republican based on age, income, sex, race state of residence, votes in previous elections, etc. The technique can also be used in engineering, especially for predicting the probability of failure of a given processed system or product. It is also used in marketing applications such as prediction of a customer's propensity to purchase a product or hold a subscription, etc. In economics it can be used to predict the likelihood of a person's choosing to be in the labor force and a business application would be to predict the likelihood of a homeowner defaulting on a mortgage. Conditional random fields, an extension of logistic regression to sequential data, are used in natural language processing. Example, probability of passing an exam versus hours of study A group of 20 students spend between 0 and 6 hours studying for an exam. 
How does the number of hours spent studying affect the probability that the student will pass the exam? The table shows the number of hours each student spent studying, and whether they passed or failed. The graph shows the probability of passing the exam versus the number of hours studying, with the logistic regression curve fitted to the data. The logistic regression analysis gives the following output. The output indicates that hours studying is significantly associated with the probability of passing the exam. The output also provides the coefficients for intercept equals minus 4.0777 and hours equals 1.5046. These coefficients are entered in the logistic regression equation to estimate the probability of passing the exam. Probability of passing exam equals 1. For example, for a student who studies 2 hours, entering the value hours equals 2 in the equation gives the estimated probability of passing the exam of p equals 0.26. Probability of passing exam equals 1 equals 0.26. Similarly, for a student who studies 4 hours, the estimated probability of passing the exam is p equals 0.87. Probability of passing exam equals 1 equals 0 0.87. This table shows the probability of passing the exam for several values of hours studying. The output from the logistic regression analysis gives a p-value of p equals 0 0.0167, which is based on the Wald's Z score. Rather than the Wald method, the recommended method to calculate the p-value for logistic regression is the likelihood ratio test, which for these data give p equals 0 0.0006. Basics Logistic regression can be binomial, ordinal or multinomial. Binomial or binary logistic regression deals with situations in which the observed outcome for a dependent variable can have only two possible types. Multinomial logistic regression deals with situations where the outcome can have three or more possible types that are not ordered. Ordinal logistic regression deals with dependent variables that are ordered. In binary logistic regression, the outcome is usually coded as 0 or 1, as this leads to the most straightforward interpretation. If a particular observed outcome for the dependent variable is the noteworthy possible outcome it is usually coded as 1, and the contrary outcome as 0. Logistic regression is used to predict the odds of being a case based on the values of the independent variables. The odds are defined as the probability that a particular outcome is a case divided by the probability that it is a non-case. Like other forms of regression analysis, logistic regression makes use of one or more predictor variables that may be either continuous or categorical. Unlike ordinary linear regression, however, logistic regression is used for predicting binary dependent variables rather than a continuous outcome. Given this difference, the assumptions of linear regression are violated. In particular, the residuals cannot be normally distributed. In addition, linear regression may make nonsensical predictions for a binary dependent variable. What is needed is a way to convert a binary variable into a continuous one that can take on any real value. To do that logistic regression first takes the odds of the event happening for different levels of each independent variable, then takes the ratio of those odds and then takes the logarithm of that ratio. This is referred to as log odds or log odds to create a continuous criterion as a transformed version of the dependent variable. Thus the log of transformation is referred to as the link function in logistic regression, although the dependent variable in logistic regression is binomial. The log at is the continuous criterion upon which linear regression is conducted. The log at of success is then fitted to the predictors using linear regression analysis. The predicted value of the log at is converted back into predicted odds via the inverse of the natural logarithm, namely the exponential function. Thus, although the observed dependent variable in logistic regression is a zero or one variable, the logistic regression estimates the odds as a continuous variable that the dependent variable is a success. In some applications the odds are all that is needed, in others, 
A specific yes or no prediction is needed for whether the dependent variable is or is not a case. This categorical prediction can be based on the computed odds of a success. With predicted odds above some chosen cutoff value being translated into a prediction of a success. Latent variable interpretation. The logistic regression can be understood simply as finding the parameters that best fit. If otherwise where is an error distributed by the standard logistic distribution, the associated latent variable is. The error term is not observed, and so the is also an unobservable, hence termed latent. Unlike ordinary regression, however, the parameters cannot be expressed by any direct formula of the in values in the observed data. Instead, they are to be found by an iterative search process, usually implemented by a software program, that finds the maximum of a complicated likelihood expression that is a function of all of the observed in values. The estimation approach is explained below. Logistic function, odds, odds ratio, and log it. Definition of the logistic function and explanation of logistic regression can begin with an explanation of the standard logistic function. The logistic function is useful because it can take an input with any value from negative to positive infinity, whereas the output always takes values between 0 and 1 and hence is interpretable as a probability. The logistic function is defined as follows. A graph of the logistic function on the t interval is shown in figure 1. Let us assume that is a linear function of a single explanatory variable. We can then express as follows. And the logistic function can now be written as. Note that is interpreted as the probability of the dependent variable equaling success or case rather than a failure or non-case. It's clear that the response variables are not identically distributed, differs from one data point to another, though they are independent given design matrix and shared with parameters. Definition of the inverse of the logistic function We can now define the inverse of the logistic function, the log it, and equivalently, after exponentiating both sides. Interpretation of these terms in the above equations. The terms are as follows refers to the log at function. The equation for illustrates that the log at is equivalent to the linear regression expression. Denotes the natural logarithm. Is the probability that the dependent variable equals a case, given some linear combination of the predictors. The formula for illustrates that the probability of the dependent variable equaling a case is equal to the value of the logistic function of the linear regression expression. This is important in that it shows that the value of the linear regression expression can vary from negative to positive infinity and yet, after transformation, the resulting expression for the probability ranges between 0 and 1. Is the intercept from the linear regression equation? Is the regression coefficient multiplied by some value of the predictor? Base denotes the exponential function. Definition of the odds The odds of the dependent variable equaling a case is equivalent to the exponential function of the linear regression expression. This illustrates how the logarithm serves as a link function between the probability and the linear regression expression. Given that the logarithm ranges between negative and positive infinity, it provides an adequate criterion upon which to conduct linear regression and the logarithm is easily converted back into the odds. So we define odds of the dependent variable equaling a case as follows. Definition of the odds ratio for a continuous independent variable The odds ratio can be defined as this exponential relationship provides an interpretation for the odds multiply by for every one unit increase in x. For a binary independent variable the odds ratio is defined as where a, b, c and d are cells in a 2 by 2 contingency table. Multiple explanatory variables If there are multiple explanatory variables, the above expression can be revised to then when this is used in the equation relating the logged odds of a success to the values of the predictors. The linear regression will be a multiple regression with m explanators. The parameters for all j equals 0, 1, 2, m are all estimated. 